Hey, what's up? It's Josh Hewitt, Top Form Fitness. Once again, time to do it with Hewitt. I uh, just wanted to make a quick video to show you uh, some of the changes I made to my home gym. Pretty proud of uh, some of the upgrades I've done recently. And uh, also talk about uh, a new program that I'm going to be starting. As you might know if you've been following my videos, I've just recently recovered from uh, bicep surgery. So I had a long head of my bicep repaired and I'm pretty much 95% now recovered and uh, made some videos on my recovery process including the uh, supplements I was using, uh, the rehab protocol I was following and the, the program that I was using following my, my recovery. So I'm going to be starting a new... Uh, a new program for hypertrophy now. It's time for me to put on some muscle mass and I can start using a little bit heavier weights now. Um, so my next video is gonna be introducing this uh, full program. And some of the principles that I'm gonna be introducing in this program, we've looked at some of the minimalist programs I've done recently, uh, definitely focusing on big basics. So it'll still be a minimalist training protocol, uh, but focusing on high frequency training. And if you've, uh, watch some of my other videos you'll see that typically I, in, I recommend that you train the muscle group two to three times a week if your goal is hypertrophy. This is one of the main principles I'm going to talk more about why that's important. Uh, this is something I'd recommend you start considering if you're not already. If you're already if you're doing the body part a day sort of approach now just look at some of the gains you might be leaving on the table um, if, if you're not training hitting those muscle groups multiple times in a week. Um, the other factor is time under tension. Now that's not a big factor for muscle building, but it does come into play when you're trying to gain mass, how much continuous time under tension during a set. So maintaining continuous tension during it, each set, not pausing or locking out at the top of a rep or, or letting the uh, tension uh, decrease during a set. I'm going to be trying to aim for 45 to 60 seconds in a set and it'll be some uh, workouts will be lightweight, high repetition, so I'll be doing high reps to get that uh, time under tension. Uh, and on my heavier days where I'm doing fewer repetitions, I'll be slowing down the tempo a little bit to focus on that increased time under tension. We'll talk about why I'm going to be doing that and the benefits of that. And another factor that is important that gets talked about a lot, uh, but I don't know if people really are getting what it's about, is the mind-muscle connection. And I talk about the tension that is introduced from the weights you're using and then the intention that you put into it. So you can create a much stronger muscle contraction just by intentionally contracting during every repetition. Really focus on squeezing and we'll talk about some ways to, to do that. And that does make a difference for hypertrophy. It certainly does more than just adding a load to the bar. You kind of focus on engaging the muscle fully. Let me just take a little tour of the gym here and show you uh, what I got going on. I moved some things around. I got my glute ham machine over here and my, uh, my lever for uh, T-bar exercises. Uh, the total gym I just call my Chuck Norris trainer, which is body weight stuff. It's a nice way to uh, progress people up to, to doing chin-ups and pull-ups, basically, as a, in addition to uh, band assisted and whatnot. Uh, over here I have my infrared sauna and the new addition here, the, an elliptical trainer. I used to just have a, a stationary bike over here. so. This has been great for uh, low impact cardiovascular intervals, dumbbells, full set of uh, set and adjustable dumbbells, all my free weights, <clears throat> the power rack, basically the hub of my home gym, lots of attachments on that, the pulley, the weightlifting stack there. And then I got uh, sort of my bench uh, leg curl, leg extension attachment, a heavy bag I sometimes throw on the rack there, uh, another hex bar, uh, safety squat bar in the corner there, and actually, I don't know if you can see in there, a log press. I pull out that sometimes. <clears throat> Some parallettes, adjustable steps, dip bars, and the battle rope. All sorts of goodies. So I thought I'd just make this quick video because uh, I haven't uploaded in a while and actually um, I've been taking a little bit of a, a break from social media so I might not be posting as regularly um, along with spending more time on mindfulness and meditation uh, I've decided to give it a little break from social media and trust me it's, uh, it's a good idea in my opinion to 
to sort of back off from, uh, from the internet, from social media, especially for a while every now and then. If you haven't tried that, uh, I definitely recommend you give it a shot. And um, I've got a, a retreat, meditation retreat coming up, and uh, I'll be offline for a while for that anyway. So I may not, uh, you may not see videos from me for a little bit, but I'll definitely be posting some, uh, some videos when I return and sharing this new program with you. I'm going to give it a, a complete download to the program and I'll be uploading my own results along the way and also share my experience from the retreat as well. So thank you all for, for tuning in. Thanks for your patience with my little break from the uploads coming up. And until next time, stay strong.